Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the red corner from Los Angeles, California. Let's make some noise for Ian Quinto! And his opponent making his way to the blue corner from Marietta, California. Let's welcome to the cage, Mason Hicobelos. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. And when, the, and when the bell rings, the man in charge of all the action in the cage is ready. Yeah. Oh, South Paul for Orthodox. Oh, look for that straight left to be there all day. Oh, oh, oh. and they are going oh. at it. Wow, he pulled guard there. Yeah, he, he got hit with some good shots and just decided to pull the guard. I can see here Ian's got that lockdown on. Let's see, he's going for that deep half. Let's see if he can sweep him here. He yes, was, there it is. Stretching out there that leg. Going Beautiful. For, can he go for the banana splitter? Oh, here. banana splitter. Oh, oh, oh. and oh. he uses it to sweep. Great, great use of that lockdown and deep half guard there. Mason, uh, Mason's ready to work out of that. And that was beautiful on, uh, on Ian's part with that beautiful deep half to banana split. Ian's using the guillotine to try and get up here. I'm, I'm sorry. Mason. Mason's using the guillotine to try and get up here, and Ian stuffs it. He's trying to pass into, half, into uh, side control here from the half guard. Great job by Mason staying busy off his back, punching, 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 maintaining his half guard. Yeah. Ian's, Ian's with the controller. Ian's looking for control. He's not really not really softening him up yet. He looks like he's looking for position and then into a submission. Oh, oh wow. Just Mason a power sweep. Powered sweep, that one. Ian looks to have a really good jiu-jitsu game, though. He's yeah. got that meat hook. Let's see if he... He's pass looking to isolate that shoulder. Is he looking? At, oh, Mason strong, almost lifted Ian up off his, off his back. You see, 
using those wrestler tactics, just powering out of stuff. He doesn't need any technique there. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, nice pass, nice pass. Oh, there you go. Putting pressure on that leg. Now he's into half. No, he has Ian's head up against that cage with nowhere to move. Look what. The, oh, Ian's look. got that lockdown again, but with the cage there, it's going to be really hard to sweep him now. Yeah. Softening up the body, Mason is from the top. I really like body shots from uh, from ground and pound. I, I really think they're really effective. Absolutely. You know, it, it, it gets the guy thinking, and at the end of the day, as long as you're working, it's scoring on the judges' score, scorecards. Oh, Ian, beautiful. Using that uh, deep half to get up. Oh, Mason circles around to the back. Softening him up with some hard punches. Mason needs to be careful with that leg that's in between. Oh, this is he looking to dump. He's going to dump him. Nice. There it is. Wow, power double. Right off the cage. Ian again looking to isolate his right shoulder. Look like he's uh, looking for that good go-go. Yes, yes, it looks like he's trying to go for a go-go. If not, he's going to go for that sweep. But Mason yeah. just stuffs it, powers it into into him. This has uh, been a pretty good little grappling exchange between the two. Great grappling here. Great technique from both guys. You definitely saw that Ian is the slicker of the two in jiu-jitsu with his sweep. But, man, Mason is no slouch on the ground. He's got great wrestling, great control on top. When he got the top position, he maintained it. And um, I think this is going to be one of those high-level, back-and-forth grappling matches here. Yes, yes, yes. Um, I, I really, I, I really like that uh, deep half to banana split that Ian pulled off. That was a, uh, that's a real good way of uh, breaking a wrestler's base. That was beautiful, and he pulled the half guard on that one. So he pulled into, into the half guard, got the lockdown, went for the deep half, and got the, got the sweep. Here we go. Both fighters look ready to go. Um, the grappling definitely takes a lot out of you. Let's see how these guys come out. A little bit of a well on Mason's right side of his face. A little bit of a well on Ian's left side of his face. Let's see if uh, they stand up a little bit more. Well, it's going to start from standing. Who's going to go to the ground first is the question. Yeah, let's see if Ian pulls that half guard again. He got hit with some hard shots. It sounded like from from where we're sitting that Mason was throwing bombs. And there's oh, no, there my that, lord! There he goes again, again. Pulling guard here. Pulling, oh yes, pulling him into the guard after getting hit with and two hard shots. I guess you can say that Ian is real comfortable off his back, looking to isolate that uh right arm. Let's Mason see if he, powering out. Let's see if he can break Mason's base here. Yes, looking for that deep half again, looking for that lockdown on his his on Mason's right leg. Oh, oh, great elbows there. Great body work like you were mentioning. Nice. Lieben, Lieben calling for action. Wow, quick stand-up here. That was a quick stand-up. Quick stand-up, but you know what? We got three-minute rounds here. Let's get the action going. Let's go. Let's yes. give the fans what they want. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice jab, jab by Ian. Oh, Mason throwing heat, man. Looks like they're both starting to get a little bit more comfortable on their feet. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, Mason cracked Ian. Had them uh, back up against the cage now. <laughs> Excuse the uh, audience language here, but uh, we've, got, uh, we've got a very, oh, very... Pulls down a guard again. Wow, he is pulling guard. I wonder how the judges are scoring this here because he's, he's pulling the guard and doing pretty well oh, when he's there. Oh, Mason isolating that arm, stepping over it. Beautiful. Wow, Mason is putting on a ground and pound clinic right now. And this is what I was talking about. The cage is actually helping Mason, but oh, oh Mason is, is is locked down that that right leg again. Ian is locking down the right leg, trying to go for that that electric chair again. It looks like. Yeah, it, it's only that the uh, the cage is actually helping Mason here stay on top because he's. He can't roll him over his left shoulder. He's got to go over the top of his head. And wow, another quick break. Chris Lieben really wants to see some blood here. Oh, yes. But it, it, that was more of a stalling position on Ian's half, trying to trying to break down 
uh, Mason's ground and pound, trying to neutralize that. Oh, again, yeah. again pulling nice. guard. Wow. And As he pulled guard, did you see that pass by Mason? That was beautiful. Mason's aware that he's going to want to pull the guard now, and he's looking to pass immediately. And he is his ground and pound right here from where we're standing sounds like sledgehammers hitting concrete. Yeah, this kid's got some really good grappling, really good wrestling. Oh, oh the ground oh, and pound. Oh, Mason dropping up. Dropping bombs. He body, wants to finish body, this now. Head. Beautiful. Ian again isolating that. I got to say one thing, though. Ian is wearing the damage good. You do not see any, not much anything, any damage on Ian's That's face. That's some thick skin, thick skin. He's he's getting hit a lot, and uh, yeah, no worse for wear. Oh, surprising. Because I know for me, I would probably be a little swollen. Because <laughs> my face is so pretty. And that's another another good grappling round there. Ian, wow, he's turned out to be one of the first people in a long time that I've seen pull guard that many Ladies times in an MMA fight. He's looking real comfortable off his back. He's, Ladies and gentlemen, this it is It looks like he keeps pulling that round. pulling that uh, that deep half guard into electric chair. Yeah, he's definitely looking for the sweep. But man, Mason's top game is just stifling, stifling his Strong. ground and pound. And he started this second round he's opened up with massive ground and pound. Really 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 is trying trying to finish the fight and score with the judges here. I think I think I've got it 2-0 Mason. Oh, it's 2-0. It's 2-0 Mason all the way. And if you don't, and if you're in the audience and you think otherwise, you should just leave the building. Here we go. Third and final round. Let's see if Ian continues to pull guard. I think his coaches need to put a sense of urgency behind him and really need to search for a finisher. Maybe that finish is on the ground, though. Possibly. Good exchange to start off. Uh huh. Ian's getting hit. Yes. It looks like Ian's a little confident with his uh, his chin a little bit. It looks like he he puts himself in danger so he can clinch up and 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 look to pull. Yeah, let's see if he tries to pull guard again. Um, the last couple of rounds, he's he's been in this position and he pulls guard almost immediately. This is the longest we've seen them grapple on their feet. Definitely, definitely. But uh, <laughs> like Mason's been doing, he's just been staying in this guy's chest and beating his, be just beating him up and down. Yeah, body, body, head. Yeah, beautiful, great, beautiful ground and pound. Great, great head positioning by Mason here. Head right underneath the chin, keeping nice and nice and high on the shoulder, on the uh, underhook here. Kind of like how Tito Ortiz used to do back in the day, man. He was just like, like they'd say, you know, he was just a monster with the ground and pound. Wow, here we go. Here There's we some go. more of it on cue. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful hammer fist by Mason. Ian, Ian needs to get off his back. Wow. Or big Ian, right hand that Look for a there. sweep. He's going for his deep half again. And Mason really needs to continue doing what, what he was just, just doing is uh, stifling, pushing his head back, not trying to go for this guillotine here because this guillotine is exactly what oh wow and another stand up yes I agree but I, I agree with Chris because it, it just seems like more of neutralizing Mason's ground and pound that uh, Ian is doing with that deep half I like the combinations from Mason here the combinations are working for him he, he's throwing oh, three yes. or four punches and landing at least two of them He's making him, is, he's like making him pay every time he tries to come in and uh, and, and clinch up with uh, Mason. Ian Ma is showing he has a chin, man. He's oh. getting hit flush and just right in his face yes, still. Man. Oh, Mason with a takedown to straight to ground and pound, looking to pass, passes, circles, circles to the head. More ground and pound here. More ground and pound. Mason looking to do damage at any available moment. Ian, Ian looking to pull back to that half guard. Looks, he controls that uh, that right leg with that wow. that left leg. Massive bombs here. Yes, beautiful grounded pound by Mason. <laughs> Ian again with the lockdown, but Mason defending well. Very well, very well. He's he's just crushed him this whole fight. He just 
did not let him after that first sweep he just did not let him regain that deep half guard wow what a performance by mason great grappling yes he, mason just neutralized that deep half the whole fight yeah ian ian definitely um came out looking a little bit like a one-trick pony he looked really good in the first round off his back but once yes, mason he pulled off that one elect uh the the one uh, banana split and after that, Mason looked like he adapted to it and locked, shut it down. Yeah, as soon as as soon as Mason uh, saw what he wanted to go for, he he was stuffing it. The ground and pound, wow, that ground and pound was definitely hurting Ian. But props to Ian for staying in there and being in the fight the entire time. Oh yeah, Ian Ian, Ian was looking to 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 stick to his game plan no matter what. Or how hard it was, or anything, it looked like it looked like he was sticking to that uh, that deep half, man. He was not gonna give up on it. Now, just waiting on the judges and the tally of the uh, scorecards. Looks like they've got the decision here. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the cage, who we went three full rounds. So we know, we go to our judges' scorecards. Judge Romero scores the bout 30 to 27. He sees this for Ico Bellis. Judge Landless scores the bout 30 to 26. He sees it for Ico Bellis. Judge Silva scores the bout 30 to 27. He sees it for Ico Bellis. Your winner by unanimous decision, out of the blue corner, Mason Heikobelis! Ladies and gentlemen, here with the winner representing Team Quest to the fullest, Mason Yakobelis. Great performance, brother, a tough, grinding performance against a tough guy. How are you feeling? I feel pretty good. Uh, I popped my knee out in the first round. Couldn't really move a lot after that, but uh, uh, he did a good job. So you fought like that with your knee popped out? Yes, sir. Well, I hate to see you with your knee popped in, brother. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for Mason Yacobelez. 